Well, now to the latest on the wildfires in Hawaii. President Joe Biden and the First Lady traveled to Maui today and witnessed the devastation on the ground and from the air two weeks after the deadly wildfires. Biden met with survivors in Lahaina and heard countless stories of survival from locals and first responders. The president addressed the nation and the community of Maui. Every emergency responder put their lives on the line for us, save others. Everyday heroes, neighbors, helping neighbors, Native Hawaiian leaders offering solace and strength. And this banyan tree, that's America. And so the people of Hawaii, we're with you for as long as it takes, I promise you. Yeah, he got, gotta go. It all comes as we're seeing new video showing what firefighters were up against as they raced to battle the flames ripping through Lahaina. Our visibility is really limited right now. This fire truck driving through the inferno surrounded by blinding smoke. We gotta get out of the center of this fire. The amount of loss we've experienced in such a short time will be difficult for us to even fathom, but we'll hold each other up. Our hearts are broken and will heal. Some survivors have questions about the government response, saying they did not receive enough information as the wildfire approached. Survivors like Mike Richter went to the morgue to identify his stepfather. He's desperate for accountability. Somebody failed us somewhere. That's the bottom line. Somebody needs to be accountable for this. Officials say 85% of the destroyed area has been searched. The fire claimed more than 100 lives, and officials say 850 more people are still unaccounted for. And yet there are attempts to try and heal. It was the first day of school for Maui Prep, the only school open in West Maui, welcoming over 100 students displaced or impacted by the fire. I'm so glad you're okay. Now, Hawaii's attorney general says a third party private organization will investigate the state and county response to the wildfire.